Okay, welcome to this quick video on how to make a trivia question. And um, basically, it's, this, is, this is building off of your lesson three, which was, um, just to remind you, your lesson three was all about links. And the one style of link was the, um, let me show it to you, was the anchors. So if you remember in lesson three, when you went to your trip page, how you had at the top of the page a bunch of hyperlinks and depending on what you clicked it went down to the bottom of the page because you had dropped an anchor down there if you forgot that just go back and review it so for this one you're going to do is you're going to make a trivia question like I made one which university has the most living alumni and depending on what they p click on which picture it either says try again you're wrong and I can call them back or I can get a wrong <laughs> or I can get a right yay and if you scroll, you'll notice this is really all the same page. See, the questions are here, and then the right and wrong. So really what I've done is I've put a little anchor here that's invisible. You don't see it. But I put an anchor, so when the person clicks on the University of Michigan, it comes down there and says you're right. So the first thing you want to do is pick a question, a topic, um, anything you want it to be. Uh, let's say you wanted to do yours on uh, dogs. So I'm going to go into... Google, type in dogs, and I'm going to go to the images, and I'm going to find some pictures of dogs. And once you find one, you want to, if you get the little picture, it'll, um, it'll look all nasty. So click on the click picture itself so you can get the big version, see full size. That's the one you want. So once you find it, you want to right click and save the picture. And you want to save it into your H drive. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my web design folder. I think I have one somewhere along here. Hello. It's going all slow. And I want to make a new folder first once I get in there. Here it is. So I'm going to go into my web design. And I'm going to make a folder. And I'm going to call it Trivia. And then I'm going to call this dogs, cat, whatever. Call whatever I want to call it. Sometimes if you don't rename it, it'll have a bit really funky name. So you should call it something that you want it. Call it. I'll call it dog one. Save it. And now I'm going to go out and find four more or three more pictures. I'm also going to look for a picture that um, has a smiley face or some kind of picture that you want when the person gets it right and some kind of picture when they get it wrong. So I'm going to pause the video here and go on and get some more pictures. Okay, I'm back. I've got my pictures. I got my four pictures and I found a couple pictures for a happy face and a sad face or whatever it is that you want for indicating they got it right or wrong. So now I'm going to come over to Dreamweaver and you can see there's my trivia folder that I made and there's all my pictures. I've got a happy face and sad face. So now I'm going to write my question out. Um, how about which dog looks the best? Hello. And I'm just going to drag the pictures out one at a time. Dog one. Actually, before you do that, you should save the page. I'll put a title on it. Richter's Dog Trivia or trivia, whatever, save it. I'm going to save this page right into, um, I already saved it once. I'm going to save it right into my site, into the trivia folder. Web design, trivia, here you go. I'm not going to call it delete, I'll call it trivia, trivia one. If you want to make a couple of trivia, you can get, up, you can get um, extra credit if you want to do more than one question. So now I can bring out the dog one, driving it out, drop it, say OK. Dog two, drag it out, say OK. And so on, I'll pause, I'll get the rest. OK, I got my four dogs out, and I noticed one of my pictures is a lot bigger than the others. So I want to make that picture a little bit smaller. So I'm going to scroll over to the edge of that picture. I'm going to grab that corner. I'm going to hold down my shift key so it doesn't lose proportionality. And I'm going to shrink that down some so it looks more even. And actually, by doing this in Dreamweaver, you're not really resizing the picture. It's still going to be like a big picture in terms of a lot of um, 
it's a big, you know, like got a lot of memory it's going to take up, but it will, at least it'll look smaller. We're going to learn later how to actually shrink the picture for real so it loads faster. But anyways, for now, this will be work. I'm going to make all my pictures a little bit smaller so you can see them easier. Okay, I got my dogs resized so it's easier to see for this. So I've got my four dogs, and now what I need to do is link them to the right and the wrong answer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click at the, after the end of the dog, hit enter a bunch of times, go way down the page, and then I'm going to get that sad face and drag and drop it out. And what I did before, I may actually, to make it look a little bit more interesting, I put a table in my page, and I made the table one row and one column, and I made it invisible, so if you put a border of zero, I won't see it at all. And then, I thought I did one row, whatever. Now I take that and I put that picture inside that table, and now I can make a background color on the table itself and make it like red. And then I can center that up and center my table up. You have to click outside the table, and then you can click on, um, oops, on a line to get that thing centered. Let me get the phone to sec. Okay, to center your table, I had to click on the edge of it, on the outer edge, and then over here the align panel comes up, and I can say align center. Now that'll move down. Now here's the key. If you want the picture to come down here, you have to make an anchor. So up in your common toolbar, there's your anchor, just like in lesson three. I'll type wrong. And now I have a place to anchor it to. So you notice here with the name of the anchor, I called it wrong. So I go up to the top, and let's say I want this first dog here, the second dog, to be to link to the wrong. So in the link box, remember how to link to an anchor? You type pound first, and then the name of the anchor. So now that picture will become linked down to the wrong answer. Let's try it. Save it. I'm going to F12 it. There it is. Now when I click on the dog, boom, it comes down here. Now we want to have a little link that says goes back up and says try again. So watch this. Click here, center it up. Try again. Now to link that to the top of the page, highlight it. And I want to go to link. And this part's kind of weird. If you just write pound top. Even though I haven't made an anchor, you know, if you look up at the top of the page, there's no anchor up here already that says top, but it's built into every HTML page. There's a top anchor already there. It's just invisible. So people who know about it, you can always just link to it. So that's automatically now going to go right back up to the top. And we can try that. And then... Which dog looks the best? We have to refresh this. Click on him. Try again. Clicks right back on the top. No problem. All right, I think you can figure out how to do the one that's right. So you want to link all three that are wrong down to the same anchor. So this one's also going to get linked, linked to the pound wrong, and then the first one as well. And then this guy will get linked to the one that's right, because that's the right answer. That's my dog, Lhasa Apsil. Pretty nice dog. Um, final thing is how to get to do little alternative text pop-up boxes. It used to be that whatever you typed in this box, I think I said that in one of the other lessons, um, you can give like little hints. It used to be that that would pop up if the person touched it, but now it's switched over into um, a new, into the, the way HTML works, they've upgraded a little bit. If you want to get it to pop up, you actually have to go into the code view and you see right here it says image source, alt, not me. The alt is not going to show up on the page. If you wanted to, you have to write title equals. Um, don't pick me. So the alt part is not what's working. It's the title part. Watch. I'm going to go back to the design view. I'm going to save it. And I will F12 it. And now when I roll over it, there it comes up and says, don't pick me. I'm not sure if you can see that on, on the video or not, but when I touch it, you have to hold it for a second, then a little pop, a little message pops up. 
and um, it's not popping up again, but it did the first time. So you can add that in if you want to. It's a little extra. It's kind of nice. So that's all for this one. Hopefully you're good to go, and you won't have any big problems. Let me know if you do, and I'll help you out.